I got kicked off. I got kicked offline and there's Murphy Retrograde fucking with you, right? I knew that I should have put out on airplane mode, but, but I didn't. So right now, during Murphy Retrograde, pay attention to the fact that you're going to be interrupted. You're going to have drop calls. You're going to get miscommunication. Things are going to go sideways. Your plans aren't going to go the way they should normally go. That's what happens during Mercury Retrograde. Those are the negative things of Mercury Retrograde, but they do happen. So we have to try and be patient because I like, I want to lose my shit when that kind of stuff happens. I'm right in the middle of a reading, you know? And then it was some stupid, I'm calling from Cancun to, or you offer you a vacation. Like, go away. Ugh. So Spirit says, at this time, be careful about what it is that you are thirsting after, Okay. It needs to be of something of value, something of uh, something into the light, not not a, not something you're filling a void with. This curse could involve a certain knowledge that you're after, or even a person of fulfillment, or lust, or ecstasy, or whatever it is. It could bring up the oh, listen to the song. I'm so bad in love. I'm bad in love. This is a negative energy. I don't want to hear this song. You know, this is somebody saying sorry. Can't, this is a person, this is a narcissist that's talking. I'm bad in love. That's my excuse. I'm just bad in love. It talks about all the people that they've gone through and that they're never around and that they go for drugs and they go for alcohol and they go for, for sex and they go for this and they for that. I'm just bad in love. You know what? Ignorance is not an excuse and your ignorant behavior is not an excuse either. So at this time, if this, this is what it is, food, drug, alcohol, ecstasy from, from people that are coming from a negative source. Is that what you're dominated by? Is that the thirst that's so strong that it's taking over your life force and your will that you're being consumed? Well, it's time to assert yourself and, and step into your power. Remember what I heard? You are in the presence of a dream eater. Well, the dream eater is some is narcissist. Narcissism. Are you consumed with that yourself? It is possible to reclaim your life force and your will. You can do this. Your desire is driving you, but you need to drive it in the right direction. Take hold of your chariot and make sure of where it's taking you. You, you. you need to realize that you're being drug along. You don't want to be drug along. Is it, drag, dra is it dragging you into a seductive sleep? Are you going back to sleep and forgetting that you were once awakened? It's time to be open and honest with yourself about what the power is that's taken a hold of you. What is the power? Is it the thirst for, for money, for possession, for status? Are you working so hard because you want to be something? You want designer clothes? You want to be of the elite society? What the fuck is wrong with you? Is that what's going on with you? Take steps to reclaim your power. That is what I heard the other night in my dream. You are in the presence of a dream eater. And I said, you need to step into your personal power. You need to step into your higher power. That is what I was literally saying in my dream to this one. Stay, take the steps to reclaim this power. Listen to your guidance. Follow the voice within. It's trying to express itself. It's trying to express you and your own powerful in a safe, healthy way. Stop the addictive tendencies. Stop the obsession. Stop moving forward like a zombie and start moving forward into the light with purpose. Dang, man. Are you blowing it? Don't be blowing it. Why do my readings have to end up being so aggressive? You're... People aren't listening. People aren't listening. You need to lean to the light. Go where there's love, where there's peace, where there's calm, where there's enlightenment, where there's support, where there's kindness. Go away from anger, anger, bitter, jealousy, envy, competition. Go away from that. That is not the light. Lean into the light. Do not be seduced. Do not be fooled by the carnivorous fairy. It may be your own attitude. This song playing right now. I don't like the attitude of this song. Look who's back in town. Mag 24 karat magic in the air. And the words that he says to this world are appealing to a lot of people. Listen to what he says. It's showtime. Look who's back again. The vampire. They'll know me as soon as we walk in. Designer mix. Finest shoes. Don't look too hard, you'll hurt yourself. Listen. I'm a dangerous man with money in my pocket. Look out. Two pretty girls around me. Why are you mad? Fix your face. It's not my fault they're looking. Nah, no thanks. Sorry, you don't impress me anymore. 
I didn't see you for who you really were. I'm in the presence of an energetic dream eater, clearly. I'm in the presence of a vampire. Wow. How sad that all of that time and all of that focus and energy was about possessions and status and reaching and not even realizing that you have completely gone back to sleep and you are not in your highest power. How pathetic you are when you actually see yourself as something so great. I'm a dangerous man with, my, with money in my pocket. Keep up. Players only. No thanks. No freaking thanks. Take me to the red rocks. Take me to the earth. And take me away from that dream eater. That's my choice. Wow, that was pretty clear. Her last day in the light. Wow. I've never seen this card before. This is this guy. Everywhere I go, they'd be like, ooh, he's so bad. And he thinks that that's funny. You know, he thinks he's all that in a bag of chips. He's nothing. He's nothing. Take away his designer suit and his money. And what does he have? Nothing. Nothing of interest to me. That's for sure. So, what's going on with this little angel here? She's got the little robins on her shoulders. And in her last day in the light, unexpected endings, surprise changes, sudden shifts. Hmm, ten. Ten is a gateway. So, what's ending here? What's going on here? This angel of light that's walking where there are all this darkness is around her. Listen to the song that's playing. Wow. So what's going on here? They're talking about absolute change that's happening. Maybe this is the last of a certain circumstance in your life. You're leaving the circumstances of your life and you're moving into something else. Interesting. So there's good and new, good news and bad news. We knew good news was coming. Okay? The time was coming for an end. So there may be a source of security that's about to finish. It might be that it's your turn to have hardship that only you can bear. Hmm, interesting. It's time to understand more of what you've avoided and a circumstance that's about to come to you to teach you a lesson. Interesting, that one that was talking just now may be about to get that lesson. You're not going to lose anything that you can't bear, but there is a sacrifice and it's going to be difficult and you are going to struggle. But this ending has to happen for you to come to, to the enlightenment and understand where you're actually meant to go. This is so the angelic nature within you can grow. You need to endure something. You need to endure something. You're going to be, again, someone who's walking in the light. Something that you felt was luxury. You're leaving. You're going to let go of that. And you're going to go into the dark night of your soul. You're going to confront a part of your life that can't be seen in the light. It's only going to be seen in the dark. Very soon, you're going to have change. You'll return again to these birds. You'll return again to this time. It's going to be yours again. So this may be about to happen to the ones who were speaking, the one that was just speaking to us. You know, when karma comes, it comes calling, it comes loud, and it takes you into the dark night of the soul. This is where you're meant to struggle, where you're meant to learn. Now, on the other hand, you may have already been within this dark night, and this means, again, you are about to emerge from that dark night back into the light, and you are about to see the miracle of a new dawn after the great dar darkness. So whatever it is, it may be that karma's come calling on the ones that have oppressed you. Karma's come calling on the ones who have done all of these things. You don't have to worry about it because you've gone through the dark night of the soul because of your connection to that karmic tie. But now you're coming out of that and they're going in. So right now, be prepared. Be prepared for the change. If you are in the darkness and you're very tired and you're aching, they're telling you hope is soon there. You will emerge into the light. You will rise like the phoenix. Even if everything behind you is in ruins, if everything you, you walk, everything you struggled for, like that guy, all the stuff he put all of his focus and energy into, it's all gone. It's, it's going to be lost. Even if you walk away from all of that, this is the greatest blessing for you to behold because this is about bringing you back to you. And for the one and the ones, the narcissistic ones, the dream eater, they can be prepared for a change as well and they can be shocked. And they will be shocked because there's going to be disruption. This is a falling tower. This is when their skills will be tested. And they will be able to hand, They will have to handle to the change, the change that they go through as well. Whatever it is, you're either going to about to go through it or you're just coming out of it. No matter how difficult it might seem, you will be able to handle it. But what's going on right now is there is change and there is no denying it. Even in the most difficult and harshest of ways, 
We have the ability to survive it, and we all have to go through it. This is the, this is the reawakening or the, the coming of karma. So what will it be for you? Holy moly. Holy moly. All you know is change cannot be denied. It's about moving forward. I'm doing one more card because we got kicked off. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Wow, Sandy, you picked a harsh one. Correct for neutrality on all levels. The one most important card. Ancient, ancient ancestry, Egypt, magical inheritance. Interesting, I'm very interested in the Egyptian culture. This is probably why Sandy picked this deck, because she is too. So the number four, remember the number four is that there are angels everywhere around you. You are completely guided, protected, and loved. There is no reason for fear. So here you see this one, and she's got, interesting, look at those crocodiles with human eyes. They're wearing masks. And then the skulls behind. Hmm. Magical inheritance. Ancestry. Egypt. So this one is the keeper of the secrets of her ancestors. So you too have this ancient blood within you. We have past lives. I've had past lives in Egypt. I've seen them. So... This is about studying about where we came from. How did I begin? What were my forefathers? My, what was the history of my ancestors? How does that affect my present life? How is it going to affect my future? This is about adjusting to new information about maybe you found out about your, your birth family. Maybe you found out about, about members of your family or of a different heritage you, you didn't know. Maybe this is about knowledge about what others have done, what they have said. Maybe this is what has shaped your life and this is what you've gone through. Maybe you've been learning secrets about your family that have been kept for many, many years and it's come out. These are the skeletons in the closet. These are the crocodiles that are coming out. Interesting. You are part of this family and this history. Your family. So it's about acknowledging your bloodline. It's about family connections maybe be helping you understand a great uh, giving you a greater knowledge of maybe of who you are how to work with family members there's going to be information that's coming to you it's going to be either surprising or disappointing but it's coming whatever the reaction there is a gift just know that there is a gift there could be a lack of knowledge about your family ancestry there could be a lack of or maybe you're dismissing importance of family matters um Maybe because of that, maybe you're not paying attention to the history of your family, so you're repeating karmic patterns. Remember we spoke about yesterday about letting go of the old karmic ties? So this priestess, she's working with the ancestors, right? With the animal ancestors as well. The human ancestors and the animals. She might be very, very old or she might be very, very young. But she's got a respect for the ancient ones. For the older ones. And they're returning now, like never before. We're right in the middle of Mercury retrograde, right? So this is about tapping into your ancestral energy. It has a lot to offer you at this time. Maybe it's time to take time to meditate and see what comes to you. Because as I said, my twin was speaking to me. Remember I said about the what, what I have sitting here. I literally, this is what's going on with my twin. This is his talisman. And this is the red, the heart Sedona gave us when I was there. I always get a heart from Sedona. And this is also a heart that it sits upon. And these shards, these pottery shards, this is an Anasazi shard, and this is another native. My twin is, is Cherokee, and said, I said, Anasazi. What is the Anasazi? Does it mean something to us? Yes, he said. It's the ancient ones. They're coming to talk to you. Listen to them. So walk your walk, talk your talk, babe. This is you, the ancient ones. They've come to talk to you. Listen to them. This is about connecting to your heritage. This is about moving forward. I'm going to leave it at that. Crazy reading for tonight, hey? Sweet dreams, y'all.